What did y'all do for bachelor and bachelorette parties? We went crazy. Dude, I don't even remember it. Oh, baby. You know what day it is? Seven. It's a, another day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> another day another vlog. in quarantine. Still here, guys. If you were wondering where we were and didn't haven't seen any of our stories on Instagram, we're here. In Australia. In quarantine. Halfway through, mind you. Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> I couldn't find the key. Stop making. Okay, you. Uh, well, what? I just want to stop this clip now. That was uh, most... uh, well, what? I was like, I need to find find the key. And I, said, uh, uh, well, what? What? I can't even film myself. That's why I'm filming you right now. I'm too embarrassed. Uh, well, what? What? Jenny's been replaying it uh, well, what? What? the whole time just to embarrass me too. Uh, well, what? What? With all that to say, we are halfway there. Uh, well, what? What? We are more than halfway there. Uh, well, what? What? This is the day that we're on right now. And this is our last full day. Day, so we leave on the morning of day 14. Yeah, so, so I, what these numbers are are essentially the start of the day. So this is the start of day zero. We finish that 24 hour period and then we're on technically the second 24 hour period, but we've completed day one. Really, we could have just one to 14. That's just how they do it. They count it as day zero. I think they were trying to like make sure that people didn't think that they were leaving on day 14, but the day that they arrived was day one. It has to be 14 24 hour cycles. So when you get there, they're like, okay, this is day zero. Yeah, and you yeah. leave on day 14, so I get it. We are um, gonna play Monopoly deal. Again. <laughs> I'm gonna win. How well, does it feel? Cause I'm gonna win. <laughs> Do you wanna tell them about last night? <laughs> what happened? We played four games. I won, won the, the first three. Yes. It was probably the third game that you won that I was like, come on. like. It's not funny anymore. You were the source of losers. I was like, but we're playing again. He's like, I gotta go inside and work. I'm like, no, we're playing again. <laughs> A lot has just happened in the past one second. I won again. Thank you. And our food got here. What? Is that our Uber Eats? Unless we ordered a plant. What? Someone sent us a plant? A live plant. Aww. It's a... Who's it from? A bikini brand. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Welcome home. We hope this little Prezi brightens your day while you're in quarantine. Sending lots of love. The Kalani team. Aw, cute. Aww, thank you. Cute. I need to show you. Well, I just want to show my hand. I won. One, two, three properties. There's the plant. Very cute. We're gonna have to transport this. Yeah, how are we gonna do that? In our road trip. Just have it in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Buckle it up. <laughs> wow, how cute. Should we play again? Cause I gotta win. Wow, so loser. <laughs> so loser. How you feeling? It's like, what can I say? I cleared the house. I won. He's salty. I literally hey. am. Do you see her? Do you see her? you guys? Like she gives me crap all the time for games. She is no. the biggest party pooper of them all. What? Yeah, you're a sore loser, and you really rub it in my face when you win. Unless you've won a lot and you feel bad, and then you go, "No, we'll play one more so you can win." He's making all this up because I know for a fact I was looking at my card like a day or two ago, and I was like, "Oh, I don't want to be this mean." He's making these things up. But it just felt good because he's been winning for the past like three days. Boy out here just killing the game, you know? I won. <laughs> I look like a Christmas tree. We are doing a Q&A today. We got some questions off of Gabe's Instagram. I put up a story and then we got some of the best cues and those are what we're answering today in this video right now. What is your visa, Gabe, to enter into Australia? I got like the normal visa that you would get as a tourist, but there were some forms specifically for applying for the exemption that I have to be able to actually enter the country right now with um, all like the travel restrictions and stuff like that. So my, my visa is technically the same as it is when I have always traveled to Australia, but I had to like file those exemptions and stuff. What's the first thing you'll want to ask God when you meet him in heaven? This one is so deep. I was like, I need time to think about this. The first thing I thought of was like, I just want to ask him for a hug. Oh, you know, that's a good answer. Thanks, babe. When is Jenny going to be in a video? 
Hmm. Hello, I'm Jenny and I'm a real human. Hello. <laughs> was it accurate? I don't know. I don't oh, think so. Why that's because it, it that's why because it, it wasn't accurate. You're like, "Hello." Hello. That's that didn't Yeah, okay, that British. one sounded more. Hello. Weird. Okay. Hello, Jenny here. <laughs> if you don't know, where have you been? Because Jenny is our editor and everyone knows that by now. She lives in the UK. She's a great editor. She's the best. Sorry. And actually meeting her in person is long overdue. We were planning on going to the UK last year around June. Obviously those plans change. But when we get around to going to the United Kingdom for the first time, going yes. to London. I'm so excited. We'll meet Jenny in person. How do you guys feel about your marriage now compared to the time you just got married? Do you have an answer for this? I do. Okay, you go. I just always think about like how little our relationship was back then. That's like how I picture it. Like mm -hmm. if I thought about marrying you tomorrow, I'd be a mess. I'd be bawling the entire time. But like, I think I was just so excited and nervous on our wedding day. I didn't cry. Mm -hmm. And so I think my love for you has just gotten so much deeper. And I think each year we're like, we can't get any closer than, than we are now. Mm -hmm. When we got married, that's what we thought. But we're so much deeper now. Yeah. I just feel like there has been a lot, and we use this word a lot, but like intentionality over the past years of like the effort that we've put into our marriage and our friendship and just the consistency that we've been able to develop. I feel like that work into the marriage, the result of that is like your answer. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We're gonna celebrate five years of marriage this year and it's so mm -hmm. crazy. What mm -hmm. happened to the board game of dad and Ooh, Gabe? Ooh, that is big updates on that coming soon. If you guys didn't know, my dad and Gabe made a board game. Such a good board game. Like everyone that we have played it with and shown is like, wow, this is one of the best games I've ever played. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves it. I'm just gonna like Thanks. brag a little bit. Thanks. Last time we were in Australia, like a, a year what is it, a, a year, year, almost a year and a half ago was when we created it. And since then it's been in development with illustrators and different, just like all the pieces are, are coming together and have been worked on and it's taken a flipping long time. I'm so excited. It's so good. Yeah, but it's like getting to those final few stages where there's actually tangible updates that I can be like, oh, this is the plan and this is what we're doing and this is how you guys can be a part of it. Yes. Yeah. What movies and, sorry, let me start again. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Give me your armpit. No. Give me your armpit. If you tickle me, I get a sympathy. No. <laughs> okay, then read the question. Stop. Gabriel, what shows and movies are you guys watching in quarantine? Ooh. The show that we are watching is Blacklist. Mm -hmm. We're like halfway through season one. It's so good. Yeah, we were recommended by her family. My whole family are obsessed with it. All of them. You're kind of working through your own movie list. Yeah, this is part of a much larger oh, okay. conversation that I need to have. He's oh. gonna go through like kind of a list of classic movies just to deepen his knowledge. On, on film, film history and stuff like that. Yes, because I really, I really need to do that. That is all I'm gonna say for right now. Oh my and gosh. That can of worms will be fully opened at a later date. What would either of you say the other is a professional act? I had my answer straight away. I think you're a professional videographer and editor. Like you would be a full professional at it. Oh, thanks, Pam. I think you are a professional. Wife. I mean, you are freaking crushing the wife game. My joke was gonna be, I think you're a professional. Oh, I thought I would have thought of something by this point. Let's go. But that's a question. joke. That's a joke, babe. That's a joke. Calm down, guys. Calm down. It's a joke. I have two answers. Okay. One, I know you don't have any music out, but I have an answer for why I think you are a professional musical artist. The two songs that you have written. Oh my gosh. Just from a peer perspective, the reaction that you get from your music is beyond what I am capable of as an artist. And I'm just so excited Stop. for you to release your music. That's, yes. that's so kind. Musician and vocalist. And the other thing is like product designer. Ooh. Your way to conceptualize and um, like go through product ideation with products that you've developed in the past and that you're currently working on is... That's so nice. A1. Your okay. professional friend. Oh, thanks. When will Gabe come out with new music? Ooh, within weeks. 
Within weeks? Yes. Wow. There you go. You had it here first. Yeah, that, I don't know if that was the right way to announce that, but <laughs> oops. <laughs> was it hard to combine finances and learn how to manage money together after getting married? Mm. I remember being nervous of going like, no, that's like your money. Like, I don't want to... Do you remember that? I yeah, remember being which, nervous about it. Which before, technically before marriage it was. Because we had, it was separate until we were married and then it all came together. We were aware of each other's finances mm -hmm. and were very open and honest about it. Where we were at, you definitely need to do that. Be honest with where your finances are at so when you come together, you're not like blindsided. Because that's like, a, you could lose trust really quick just by that not being there. We had that transparency, honesty, everything was open. Once we got married was when it all came together. Since being married to Gabe, I have learned a lot about finances. I was introduced to the world of Dave Ramsey. Dave, I, good old Dave. You know, his YouTube channel, his podcasts, his books changed my life. Mm -hmm. And that was what you were taught as well. Yeah, I mean, really, I feel like it's a learning process together, like with what you were saying, like if you're going to buy a Dave Ramsey book or something, you should both read through that together and do it together. So you're both on the same page and you plan things together. And really, I guess it's just an open stream of communication and an equal amount of effort from both of you. If you're not communicating properly and you're not like meeting regularly to talk about where, where your finances are at. It can be dangerous. It, yeah, if, if there's no plan, you're not gonna you know reach a goal. This is probably, my favorite question we've ever gotten. Mm -hmm. If Milo was a human. Oh my gosh. This is based sick. off his personality, would you hang out with him in real life? We both <laughs> love so it. good. I love this question. Would you? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. He is the happiest dog, and I feel like if he was a human, he would be such a happy, fun. He makes anyone who he meets happy. Yes. Like, if you have that trait as a human to make other people happy, like Milo does, you are a good human to be around. You know the quote that's like, to know them is to love them. Literally, mm -hmm. to know Milo is to love Milo. Like, oh. <laughs> everyone That's who meets cute. him loves him, and so I feel like he would be a great person. I miss him so much. Oh, He's in Florida. He's in Florida me. with my brother and sister-in-law are staying with him. Yeah. What did y'all do for bachelor and bachelorette parties? We went crazy. Dude, I don't even remember it, bro. I had um, a surprise picnic that was set up for me mm -hmm. by my sister and my friends were all there. It was just a really nice, like, picnic out mm -hmm. near the water. With all the ladies. I went with some of my buddies to, there's an island off the coast of Brisbane called Tangaluma Island. So it was like a, just that day. You take a ferry there, we went there for the whole day. Got to hang out at the beach. We did like uh, four wheeling through the, like the mountains that they have there. They have like mm. trails on the island and stuff. Just fun stuff like that we got to hang out, which was really, it was really cool. Will you eventually buy a house in Australia? That's definitely our dream and our goal. I would love that so much to be able to have a place here mm -hmm. and to be able to split our time because we haven't been able to do that the past four years. Mm -hmm. It's a very like specific dream that we're aware is tougher to have you know, a place on each continent, but having a place in uh, Florida and then a place in Australia and being able to split the time, that's something that we want to work towards. work towards and look forward to. It's obviously not an easy thing to do. No. When it comes to the future of like having family and kids and all that stuff, we want our kids to be able to see both sides of the family. And selfishly, I want time in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a goal. Definitely mm -hmm. a dream. Favorite upcoming project? Mm -hmm. I have a couple cool ones I'm excited about, mm -hmm. but my favorite would probably be music. Yeah. I'm really enjoying doing my own music and like seeing how it's turning out. People are going to lose their mind. People are going to flip. It's going to be so good. What about you? Um, at the moment, probably the board game. That's going to be sick. Yeah, that one's going to be a really cool thing. Like once I have my hands on it. Oh my god. You know, even if it flops and board games aren't like what I'm supposed to be working on. Just to have like, to be able to say I made a board game and have copies of it. Obviously like with your dad, but I think that'll be a really cool moment for us mm -hmm. to to share mm -hmm. yeah that's it that's all the questions guys why did you sound like 2017 youtube that's all the questions guys make sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button for more videos sorry <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us hope you guys enjoyed this little q a we love you guys hope you're doing well stay classy Keeper doesn't know what to do right now. The reason why I want to keep doing outros is because I never want to get rid of 
peace out from Justin Gabriel. But the best way to end a YouTube video is just like, it just cuts at the end of the video and there's not like the whole like, thank you guys for watching and da 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 da, you yeah, know Yeah, I, mean? I agree. Yeah. With that said, <laughs> peace, peace out, out from Jess. And Gabriel Conti. Conti. You! Uh, what? <laughs>